What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Hey, I hope everyone's enjoying their Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend to you. And uh, today, I just wanted to do that follow-up review that I mentioned on the Jeep accessories uh, that I've gotten. And uh, nothing big, nothing major, but just some things that I think that can help you along your way if you got a Jeep or if you're thinking about buying one or you just recently bought one. But uh, I guess to start off with, I'm going to go with uh, this screen protector uh, for your actual multimedia unit, the multimedia screen. Um, you can't really see it, but it's a, it's, a, it's a screen protector just like you would put on your phone. Um, you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. I'll put a link to the description uh, below. But actually, if you can't see it, there's a very thin space up here where it separates the glass and the screen protector. But it looks just like glass. So um, it's pretty big, easy to put on, and um, it, it helps protect your screen. Uh, from cracks and things of that nature on there. So you just never know what may happen. So I just put it on there just for protection for the screen. Uh, something small, but definitely something I felt was, uh, was, was, was necessary. All right, next thing. My Jeep is junky, so please don't judge me. But these roll bar protectors uh, are made out of foam. And you can see them up here. They usually have, I would say, about five or six different companies that make these and I tried about three of them the ones that I bought are more true to the ones that you would find on the original older Jeeps from back in the day uh, just giving it kind of like you know that foam look um, they go all the way down on all of the the whole roll bar uh, and you can get this in black or you can get it in red. I originally wanted the red. I originally ordered the red. But um, once I got it, it, I could easily tell that that red was going to get very dirty. And so I said, nah, I don't, I don't want to keep that, that on there. So I, I exchanged it for the black because the red is actually made out of the same uh, foam material as this... Um, it's actually by the same company this uh armrest here this in the center and over time you can actually well i don't know if the camera's picking it up but you can actually already see this starting to, to get a little bit dirty and and faded on there and so i didn't want that on the roll bars especially if the top's down and let's say it does rain um i can only imagine how that red is going to look over a short period of time if rain dries up on it you're going to see dirt all over that thing so i stuck with the black because the red was just so bright and i could easily tell that it was going to get um dirty and stained pretty quickly these go for 200 on amazon right so do i think these are worth 200 dollars? probably not i lucked up and got an open box one for half that price i think i paid like 110 for these uh, open box on Amazon, they were used. Um, and so uh, actually it came brand new. It was just someone opened it and I guess returned it and didn't use it. And so it's brand new, but it's just an open box. Would I spend this much $200 regular price on these? Probably not. Uh, but you know, if you can find an open box one or use one for cheaper, I would definitely say yes, go for it. Or if the company has a sale, I'll put a link in the description for these as well. The padding is very good. Um, the red pops though, don't get me wrong. The red really, really pops and really looks good when it's installed, but I just don't see... I, I just can't see um, using red long term, especially if rain gets on it. Um, another thing I did was I added these little, um, I forgot what you call them, these little screws in the back for the actual hard top. The ones that it comes with uh, are fine. You know, you, you, you'll see these in here, the bolts that the Jeep normally comes with. I, I keep them in here and it's, it's usually six of them. Um, but these, you have to actually get the tool out, you know, to actually remove them. These, you can actually just turn with your hand and they come with these little clips as well. So if you have things that you want to lock down or strap down in the back, you have these little sections right here where you could put a strap in and clip it or um, strap it down. And so 
I, I highly recommend these if you don't have them. It's just the ease, ease of use of it and, and to be able to just unscrew these off a lot quicker than having to pop out the tool to take all of that off. Um, I just find these way more durable and come in handy way more than the original screws. Next up is the tailgate table. Now, here's my opinion on this thing. Now, do you need a tailgate table? Uh, probably not. Most people who have Jeeps, you probably don't need them. But I'm going to tell you why it comes in handy for me. When I go to the beach and I'm either loading or unloading the truck, I usually start my walk to the beach or my walk after a beach. I usually have um, a nice adult beverage in my hand. And so what it comes in handy with me is, and I usually also have a big Bluetooth speaker I carry with me the majority of the time. And so when I'm loading up the Jeep or unloading the Jeep, let me just take these off right quick. This little table um, actually comes in, uh, in handy for me uh, a lot. So I have something to put the radio on and I have two drink holders here to hold my drink um, while I'm loading the car or unloading the car. Um, so it does come into handy in those parts. Honestly, that's the only two things I use it for. Like I'm not really tailgating. I'm not out here picnicking outside my Jeep. So yeah, would you want to spend this much money just for, you know, a couple times of use? Probably not. But for me, it's definitely comes in handy and it wasn't that expensive. I think I paid like 80 bucks for this thing. This is the, uh, rough country version i'll put the link in this description below very easy to install um you do have a few screws you have to drill a hole in so yes you do have to drill a hole in the plastic components of your of your vehicle um, if that's something that you're scared about then you may not want to do that also you have to understand that um you will have to buy probably um a couple of drill bits uh, i didn't have I, I don't forgot what exactly the size was rough country will give you the dimensions of what drill bits you need, but I know it was a, a real big one that I didn't have. I think it was like a one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch drill bit. Um, so I had to buy that to, to drill the right holes in it. So, you know, you may have to do that, but other than that, it doesn't, doesn't take long to install at all. Um, now, does it rattle and make noise? No, it doesn't. But if I'm, if I'm hitting like a pothole or something, then this metal piece will end up like kind of riding a little bit. I just put a piece of small styrofoam in it um, just in case if I do hit a, a big bump or a pothole, uh, I don't have to hear the, the rattling noise. So um, it can rattle, but on a normal consistent basis, no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't rattle or anything. And so yeah, you just clip it back on, very simple, um, very convenient uh, as well. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update video on the other uh, couple of things that I got for the Jeep. So for the next video, I'll take the doors off and I'll take off and remove the, uh, the top as well and show you the device that I have that helps me do that. And so yeah, until then, I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.